Guys, let's talk about Kati here. Uh, as you can see, there's a downward sloping resistance line, which I've drawn uh, right before this video uh, started. And uh, you can see this started back basically in April. And uh, it had touch points in June. It had a touch point in July. And, you know, in September, it tried several times to break out. But today, it looks like it's once and for all breaking out. Uh, finally, so you can see we kind of had a fake out to the upside, fake out to the downside, and then a push up. So right now uh, we are getting rejected though uh, by the 12.33 cent mark. As you can see, we're just under it. Um, this is the daily chart, guys. Now we've been above this. Let me put this on the hourly so you can see we did spend a few hours above it but we dip below and now we are trying to get above. Uh, so let's see what happens. Now this candle just started about nine minutes ago. Um, so this could easily, you know, be eaten back up and we could close an hourly candle back above 12.33 uh, cents. And uh, we just have to wait and see guys. Now the four hour candle, this one actually it just started as well, so I wouldn't panic too much, guys. Um, let's just see if we can hold it, but we have plenty of time. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the, the lowest time frame you really want to look at is the four-hour candle. Um, but yeah, let's take let's put this back on the daily. Um, now, the next resistance will be up here. It's a weekly um, you know, resistance at about 13.4 cents once we break this 12.33 cents, guys. So... Uh, and then after that, you have 15.32 cents on the daily time frame, and then 17.64 cents on the daily time frame. So uh, don't want to get too far ahead. Uh, you know, Kati has been fairly high. Uh, I think that was in March. We we saw a, a local high here of about well, it was almost 28 cents, guys. So. That was nice to see. I'm not sure if that was the all-time high for Kati. I don't think so. I think I remember in the 50s or 60s or... Yeah, okay. So here we go. The all-time high uh, was about 68 cents, guys. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we are starting to break this trend. So that's a good thing to see. Um, you know, we need to start making, you know, higher lows now. So, and we got to get above these, you know local highs here which we've been under since about april um but you know we're very very close guys i think to get very bullish though on kati um i think we need to get above about 15 and a half cents here we need to take out this whole range basically that we've been in uh since you know april like i said and uh from before february so yeah i mean you can see that we had a, a lot of trading here and uh, yeah, we're coming up to this resistance. You can see we got rejected here in the past many, many, many times. And this is the same line we're getting rejected at right now, guys. Um, but yeah, I think about 15, you know, about 15 and a half cents will make Kati very bullish. Um, so let's wait and see. Now, Bitcoin on the daily time frame, we are seeing a red candle here. Uh, we have tried to push through a couple of resistances today. And it's just not happening, guys. So, you know, we have held uh, this bottom support, basically, uh, as you see here at about uh, 62.4. Uh, we have touched this and, you know, it looks like it's it's held support so far, guys. Now, let me put this on the hourly time frame to kind of take a look to see how many times we might have hit this. Uh, well, it looks like just once a couple of hours ago here. Uh, we got kind of a bounce off of it. We are coming back down. We may touch this support again, um, but we'll see, guys. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if we were to break, you know, up, uh, we need to get above. Let's see. It's about, yeah, it's still about $66,000 here. Uh, this is that, you know, legendary trend line that's been holding us down. Uh, if I put this on the daily time frame, you will see this a little bit better. And uh, like I've said in many videos before, we touched it at the all-time high. Uh, we also touched it in April. We touched it in May, June, July. Got close in August, uh, but fell about $2,000 or $2,500 short. 
but right now we are almost in the same place where we were uh, in August and uh, we don't have to go as high as August. August we had to get up here uh, to about 67,000 but this trend line is coming down so about 60, uh, 66,000 is the mark we have to get across and uh, and of course we do have to break all of these resistances to the upside as well but the main one is this resistance here this trend line as you see this yellow line you know going down so uh, we need to also break this neckline here at about 64.3. Um, we kind of got rejected there today. Uh, we got up to 64.133. So that's really, really close, guys. Now, remember, once we cross 64.3, this double bottom will come into play. So, and the target, guys, is up here at about 74.5 to $75,000. So we'll see, guys. Um, now, at, you know, let's take a look at the economic calendar for next week. Basically, on Monday, you do have some PMI uh, numbers. You do have a couple of speakers uh, from FOMC. Uh, Tuesday, uh, you do have the HPI composite numbers. Uh, consumer confidence, that's going to be probably the most important on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, it's not really much. You do have like new home sales and, and building permits and things. Not too important Wednesday, though, uh, but Thursday, you do have core PC prices Q2, and we do have core durable goods orders. We have continuous uh, continuing jobless claims, uh, you know, initial jobless claims. You know, we have GDP, you know, for Q2. Uh, we do have Fed Chair Powell speaking and another FOMC member speaking. We also have Barr speaking. Uh, Yellen will be speaking, you know, again, bar. So Wednesday is, you know, going to be a, a big day. Oh, yeah, and you do have, you know, this FOMC member speaking as well. So, yeah, it's going to be a bigger day on Wednesday. You're probably going to, or sorry, Thursday. Um, you're probably going to see a lot of volatility on Thursday. Um, now, Friday, you do have, you know, core PCE price index. Uh, you do have, you know, personal spending. Uh, we do have Michigan numbers coming out. Uh, so Friday is also going to be a, a, a bigger day as well. So yeah, guys, like I said, you know, we have some, maybe the third most important day of the week uh, coming Monday, you know, because there is a few small numbers here and a couple of speakers. Um, Tuesday, you know, consumer confidence is the main, you know, thing. Uh, Wednesday, not too much, kind of a dead day. But Thursday, Friday are, are big days, guys. So be watching on those days. Now, I have just taken a look here at this. You know, this is the, the interest rate cut prediction. And right now, people are predicting another half point cut. So I'm a little bit surprised because this, I think, was down at, uh, when was it? Yesterday. Okay, it was, yeah, 38%. I was going to say it was like 30-something, high 30s. Um, and then, you know... Yeah, today it's now 52. So it's risen about 14 to 15% for a half point cut in November, guys. So we'll see. This can change drastically. We still have, you know, about a month and a half till uh, November 7th. Uh, I wouldn't panic too much if you're panicking about a, another half point cut. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I still think we're going to get a, a quarter point cut. Um, you know, and, and we'll see guys, it's just a, it's a big guess right now. We're, we're not even close to that time. Um, so we'll take it one step at a time. Uh, probably don't need to look at this almost every video, you know, maybe once a week or twice a week, we can look at this on these videos. Uh, cause right now it's not so important. Um, now the fear and greed is 54. Like I said yesterday on, on one or two videos, um, I said that I did predict that the fear and greed would move somewhere between 50 and 60, and it's pretty much right in the middle. We're at neutral territory. Uh, yesterday, we were at 49. Um, so it's good to see, guys. We are coming up. And uh, crypto bubbles, yeah, right now, you know, you do have some good projects like FET or SUI, uh, GRT, Ondo, you know, VET. You know, all these good projects are up. Now, there are some good projects down. It's about 50-50 here, um, I would say, or maybe even 40% in green and 60% in red right now. Um, you know, if you look at the week, though, most of these are in green. Now, if you're looking at the month, 
Uh, most are still in green, guys. So, and if you're looking at the year, almost everything is still in green. So, and and big greens. Um, but anyways, let's just look at this for the day. Um, it's it's about forty or fifty percent green right now. So, anyways, and that's due basically to this red candle on Bitcoin. Um, but you know, hey, we just had three mega candles that were green. You know, it's it's nice to actually see you know a pullback and a retest of some of these you know, supports, uh, because we did blow through these supports. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we even came down and retested 61.3, because uh, we didn't really test that as support. We just kind of blew through it here, guys. So we will see, um, you know, but we could easily just keep going up. So if you like this video, guys, about Kati and uh, Bitcoin, and uh, yeah, just give this a like. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks a lot.